Like we're talking about why this happens and specifically in farmer's fields. Why do rocks continually come up? Why do you have to keep removing the rocks year after year after year? It's a good question. You did a pretty good job here, Jesse. You came up with a couple of analogies. I think that um, they make sense. Okay. So the first, the first way we're going to talk about this, we're generally, we're going to talk about how does big stuff move to the top? Like that's a bit counterintuitive in many ways, but also we've seen this in our daily lives. There's a couple main mechanisms, three main mechanisms by which you can get big particles move up to the top. And that's what's happening in a farmer's field. The first one isn't really applicable to the farmer's field, but it's applicable elsewhere in geology is by shaking. A big de- bag of Doritos <laughs> that you bought at the grocery store, a big family size, party size one, bought at the That's grocery a, store, absolutely. you chucked it in the back of your vehicle, you brought it home, you threw it in the, you smashed it in the cupboard, and now you pull it out, and now you're eat, now you're about to eat it. What's at the top? And the same thing goes for cereal boxes. Like, what's at the top? The first half of it is big, beautiful Doritos chips. Now, what, Chris, <laughs> what happens when you get to the middle, the bottom third of that bag even? Well, so first you go through, then you get some broken ones, right? And then they just get smaller and smaller and smaller, which I like because when you get down there, you know, then that stuff gets all in your fingers. Oh, right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. I you mean, know? but they get <laughs> the, the chips get here. like smaller and smaller. You get crumbs down at the very, very bottom of it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So during shaking, what's going on? Well, what's going on is when you shake stuff, the whole kind of package, you can imagine all the particles are kind of lifted up in the air during the shaking, which means that small gaps form between all the particles. Now, as they fall back down, the small particles more easily fill in the small gaps. And there are very few big gaps that get formed. So you have the same thing going on is, but here's my question, Jesse, where does this kind of thing happen then from a tectonic or geologic setting? Ooh, where does shaking happen? Yes. <laughs> like, yes. you know, earthquakes can do a lot of shaking. So you can, you can have these things kind of pushed up. It does happen a little bit in these, in like a field, in a farmer's field, for instance. And we've talked about this before. It's very similar to the sort of frost wedging. It's the freeze thaw cycle. The freeze thaw can do a little bit of lifting up and then it comes back down and lifts up and comes back down, lift up, come back down. So that's, it's like very slow shaking. And that can push, that is a force that can get big stuff to the top. 